Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakarkwadash. Yahweh is the only true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father, the only name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God or Jehovah. Bahashim in Hebrew means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the only true name of his son, which is also a Hebrew name. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Rechar Kodash is the spirit holy, which is the Holy Spirit for the new listeners. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen to learn to you, Shalom. Uh, it seems like adultery, you know. A man sleeping with the with another man's wife or another man's woman is it's like a, a fucking achievement here in, in Babylon. All right. In uh, America. Which is spiritually known as Sodom in Egypt, you know, it's like an achievement. It's like it's like. It's incentivized. Oh yeah, go go go, commit adultery. Go, you know, have sex with with another man's wife. Even though there's more women out there than men, and you you could find a single woman, but no, adultery is is at an all time high. You know, and um, and 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 then what does that bring? That brings. STDs, all right, diseases, which is uh, if you think about it, it's a, it's a punishment, all right, and the the ultimate punishment for adultery is death, all right. Now we're gonna go into the act of physical adultery, right? Exodus. 20 and 14 thou shalt not commit adultery which this is a commandment all right and adultery is when a man lays down intercourse sex with another man's woman now see here in in uh, this western mindset in America, Babylon, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Uh, Salakia, you know, you uh, uh, people people think, oh, she's not married. Um, she doesn't have a ring on her finger. She's not married by law. So it's not adultery. It's OK because she's not married. When sex according to the scriptures is marriage all right uh who was it uh there was isaac and rebecca if i'm not mistaken all right they went into his mother's tent and she became his wife <laughs> she became his wife because they had sex all right. There's nowhere in the scriptures that say you got to put a ring on her finger, go to the court, get a light, a marriage license. And then if she has sex with another man, it is commit. It's considered adultery. No, it's, that's not what adultery is. Adultery is the man you the man who you lose your virginity to is your husband. Anything outside of that man when it comes to intercourse is adultery. All right. Proverbs 32. I'm at Proverbs 6 and 32. 
But whosoever committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. And that's basically shit. 99% of the people here in America, which is Babylon, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, they're out here rapidly committing adultery. I fucked your bitch. Oh, I'm gonna fuck his bitch. Oh man, damn, she bad. She got a she got a man though. She going. She is she going, I'm gonna go. That's why that's why this place lacks understanding. Because it's rampant on adultery. And and what comes along with adultery? Diseases. Death. All right. And this place is going to be destroyed for its wickedness. Let's grab uh, the next scripture. Matthews 5 and 28. But I say unto you, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. You know, which this doesn't mean you can't look at some ass or some titties. All right. This doesn't mean you can't admire a woman and look at her and and lust after her. All right. This is going into when a woman is married. She already has a husband. You knowingly know that she has a husband or boyfriend because uh, uh, Esau gave you the term boyfriend, girlfriend. All right. Look, where's boyfriend, girlfriend at in the scripture? All right. I, I don't think I ever, you know, let's, let's, let's do a quick word search. Boy. Friend. And <laughs> no results. All right. Let's look up. Girl. girlfriend no results all right so esau gave you that girlfriend boyfriend bullshit there's no such thing as a girlfriend boyfriend all right that's husband and wife if you if you're having um sexual relationship with that person sex is marriage so lusting upon a woman is nothing wrong with that Okay, how do you think you even know if you like her? You have to look at her. All right. This is going into knowingly knowing a woman is married to a man. All right. Or she has, a, again, uh, the term Esau gave you a boyfriend or, or she got a man knowing that she's with someone and obviously they're having sex. But you're still lusting after her. That is adultery in your uh, committing adultery in your mind. All right. In your heart, which is your mind. All right. Not know you see uh, something you like and you're like, damn, she looks good. Let me go holla at you. Excuse me, miss. Uh, you know, I think you look beautiful. What's your name? Oh, my name is no, whatever. Oh, um, you know, you got a boyfriend, you got you got a husband, you got a man. Yes, I do. I'm in a relationship. Uh, I'm married. Oh, OK, OK. Well, you know, I'm uh, sorry to waste your time. You know, uh, have a good day. That's not adultery, even though you looked and lust after her. Because once you learned she's in the relationship, you, you keep it fucking moving. There's millions of women out there billions but if you you look at her you lust after her you, you see like something you like hey excuse me oh i think you look beautiful what's your name my name's so and so oh you have a boyfriend you know you have a, a husband a man no no i don't well then that's not adultery that's not adultery all right because 
she doesn't but if she tells you she does and you're like man are you guys serious you know man he don't gotta know about us you know he don't gotta know man i'll be your side dude he ain't gotta know about me you know just hit me up whenever you know you 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 wanna uh you know get away for a little bit and and now now that you know she's in a relationship and you're still pursuing you're still lusting you're committing adultery Deuteronomy 22 and 22 If a man be found Lying with another man uh, With a married woman Salakia If a man be found Lying with a Woman married to an husband Then they shall Both of them die Both the man that lay with the woman and the woman so shalt thou put away evil from israel so if you catch you know that th this was the punishment and i guarantee you if this was implemented today if you get caught committing adultery and y'all got your and y'all got put to death this wouldn't <laughs> this wouldn't be going on it, it, not at, at an all-time high like it's going on now all right, because you're gonna you're gonna think in the back of your head, damn, Sharquisha and fucking Javon got their ass put to death because they was committing adultery. Motherfucking Jose and Maria got their ass put to death because they was committing adultery. Motherfucking uh, Pocahontas and Littlefoot got their ass put to death because they was committing adultery. Let me not do it. <laughs> But nope, that's just promoted. It's promoted in your music, your TV shows. Uh, Esau's uh, giving you, uh, uh, he's he's programming you with uh with his with his music and his sh TV shows, his movies. All right, to do this wicked act, and the punishment for it is death. Romans 7 and 3, so then if while her husband liveth, so if a woman has a husband and he's alive that she gave, she she lost her virginity to because that's who her husband is. The man of the woman loses her virginity to if he's still alive. She be and uh, it says she be married to another man. She shall be called an adulteress. So here it is. If you're uh, with another man outside of the man you lost your virginity to, she's considered an, an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. So the only way you're free from the law of your husband is if he's dead if he passes away then a woman is allowed to go and and um, marry another man all right but what did you how i said this is a, a wicked and adulterous generation you know guess what that generation is here right now how are we a wicked and adulterous generation when's the last time you ever had a virgin and guess what? If you ha if you've got a virgin, hey, you're lucky. Count count that as a blessing, because ninety nine point nine 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 percent of these women out here are not virgins. If you're not getting them in freaking, I was gonna say high school, but <laughs> hey, these girls are having sex in elementary school, eleven, uh, a uh, freaking. Eighth grade, seventh grade. I knew I knew kids that were having sex in sixth grade. When I was in sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, freshman high school, this STDs going crazy in high school because these girls were just 
jumping on the football team, the wrestling team, riding the car riding the the, uh, the the basketball carousel, the football carousel. You know. But um oh by by the law, the woman, whoever you lose your virginity to and if you and if that man is still alive, that's your husband. And if you're out here with another man, you're technically an adulteress. And he, by default, is an adulterer. That's why this is a wicked and adulterous generation, you know. And it's only through the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, we'll be forgiven for that because, hey, we, we all fall short, we all sin, we all really just need to be put to death. Because we all sinned. All right. But, you know, in a nutshell, adultery here in America is at an all time high. That's why you're getting all these damn diseases, STDs running rampant. And soon come the punishment for it is death, which is what? The, the Jacob's trouble, the four sword judgments, ultimately leading into the destruction of Babylon which is America also known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt by thermonuclear uh, missiles all right how we're willing this was edifying to next time Shalom